Hey guys, thank you so much for joining Brittany King Live Workouts.com and today we are making healthy blueberry muffins. Yes, we are. Uh, so here are all my ingredients. <laughs> And they're actually going to be done in the blender. So I'm really excited about this. Um, I make blender muffins pretty much every single week so my husband can take them to work and my kids love them too. So first thing what you need to do is we're going to put the wet ingredients down first. So I have two eggs that I'm just going to crack and go ahead and put in the bottom of the blender. Just make sure you don't get any of the eggshells in there. I know. One and two. Here we go. And then what I'm going to do is I have two of these unsweetened applesauces, okay? So I'm just going to take two of them. They're about a third of a cup each. Um, you do not have to use applesauce in yours. You can always just use brown sugar, okay? So we're going to put two of these in there. Like I said, a third of a cup. One and two. Yep. I love getting these. These are at Aldi. And actually... They're great to get because then you don't have to open up an entire jar and then stick it in the refrigerator and then not know um, the last time that you've actually used it, okay? So I do a third of a cup, two of those, but then I do also add a little bit of brown sugar because that sweet molasses is just so good and makes them really, really rich, okay? So I'm going to do a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. You can always do... Uh, maple syrup or any sugar of your choice. All right, so a quarter of a cup. All right, next what we're going to do is I'm going to take two teaspoons of baking powder. All right, so, and if you don't have a blender, don't worry, you don't have to have a blender. Um, I just use the blender because I'm going to be using oats and it blends it up really, really nicely. So I have a teaspoon here, so I'm going to do two teaspoons. One always, always substitute any flour in. You do not have to use oats. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do just a little pour of this uh, vanilla. So it's probably about half of a teaspoon. So I'll just measure it out just to make sure, but about half of a teaspoon. Here we go. And then just a little bit of salt, just a little bit of a, a little pinch. Salt and sweet deliciousness, right? And then I'm going to take my oats and I'm going to add in two cups of oats, okay? So um, these are rolled, rolled oats. Uh, I wouldn't do the minute oats. I would just use the rolled oats so they don't get mushy when you're baking them. All right, so two of those. And then what we're going to do is we're going to blend it. Yep, and get it nice and blended. Um, the more you blend it, the finer it'll get, and you won't have um, necessarily the little chunks of the, the oatmeal in there, okay? So I have a blend tech. I love using it. So cover your ears. Here it goes. Here we go. All right, and just a little bit. I also can always have these on hand. In addition, they will keep their firmness when you bake them. They won't be all mushy. So I'm just going to take a cup of blueberries. I know that seems like a lot, but blueberries are so good with the antioxidants. They have good fiber and they're lower in carbs. When you get those berries, they're lower in carbs. So good for you. And all I'm going to do with those is I'm going to do hand stir. I'm not going to make some in hand stir. So let me grab a hand stir. Okay. And of course, whoops, I'm out in 10. I do have my oven preheating at 450 degrees. Okay, so I'm just going to hand stir these in here. It will make about 10. Like I said, I like to make it for the entire week, which is two per day. Yes. So in here we have our good carbohydrates. Um, we have a little bit of protein in here, and we have a little bit of fat in here, okay? So, got to love I love it. Okay, so I have my muffin tins, and I'm going to fill them about halfway to three-quarters of the way up. Okay, so, 
And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bake them for about 11 minutes or until a toothpick comes out nice and clean, okay? Then I'm gonna stick them on the edge of the counter on a baking um, rack and let them cool off. That way I can stick them in the refrigerator and my husband can very easily go and grab two each morning. It works out perfect when you're on the go in the mornings. It's perfect. Add to a protein shake with a protein bar. Then you have your good fats, your good carbohydrates, and then you have your protein with your protein shaker bar. It's absolutely perfect. All right, like I said, it makes a total of 10. Here we go. Here's my 10th one. Might add a little bit to the other ones just because. Ooh, a little crazy. All right, here we go. Yes, there we go. Like I said, you do not have to use oats. I'm just making this a little bit healthier. Um, you can use any flour that you want. You can even use almond flour. Now, coconut flour, I would not substitute one for one, but but for um, but you can use this. Hi, do you want to help me bake? No, I want you to. And then you're just gonna pop these in the oven for, like I said, about 11 to 15 minutes until they have come out where the toothpick is nice and clean. And I want to say thank you so much for joining me right now. Stick with me because I'm gonna pull them out. We're gonna see how yummy they are. All right, so thanks for sticking with us. And here we are to try these. They've already gotten into them. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to open them up. Hey, that one was wrong. Sorry. And see what you think. I like the pop. Okay, how is it? Do we have thumbs up or thumbs down? Me, do me and Brill are the official testers. Taste yes, testers. you are. They're official taste testers here. What do we think? Ooh. Ooh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What do we think, guys? I, I see you guys going back for more. Oh, thumbs down from one. Thumbs down from two. What is going on here? Well, I know of one person that's gonna that loves them, and that's one outside. Yeah, you keep eating them. Thumbs down, but I'm gonna keep eating them. All right, so these are fantastic. Me, me eat out. Okay, these are fantastic from the refrigerator, or you can throw them in the freezer and grab them on your way out the door. And I want to say thank you so much for joining Brittany King Live for Cuts.com. And I hope that you like this. Share this with somebody who would love blueberry muffins. Um, and also visit my website, BrittanyKingLiveWorkouts.com, where you can sign up for one free one-week trial um, for three live workouts. And then sign up for my membership for a monthly membership. It is three live workouts a week. I record them also because I know everyone's busy. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's $25 a month. Now, <laughs> I hope to see you next time and give this... Give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> Give this video okay. a thumbs down. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye.